a very common question we are being asked by customers is whether we support a specific SAP module or not. To answer this question, I would like to explain how an SAP installation looks like. An SAP installation is basically a three-tiered architectural um, implementation with a database layer which is irrelevant to us since we are not directly speaking to a database instance. So the database can be at the moment any database, relational database management system available and supported by SAP. And the application layer which is an application server that is being installed on a specific system that uses the database. On these application uh, servers there is a common kernel and basis services that provides um, authentication and authorization services amongst others to additional applications that are running on top of this kernel or basis system. These applications are also called in the SAP language modules. So modules that are running on an ABAP based application server mainly rely on the kernel or SAP basis infrastructure to provide user accounts, authorizations and profiles and roles that grant access to things or objects in the database. Any module or application that is available on the ABAP stack is being supported so far that we will rely on the underlying kernel or basis infrastructure to provision user accounts, roles and profiles and grant specific access to this module or to this application in the uh, SAP environment. However, some SAP modules might have module related or module specific permissions which we will not support with the standard connector. For example, SAP HR module has so-called structural profiles which is an uh, additional authorization layer in the SAP HR module which adds additional permissions for user accounts in the HR module which are not on the kernel or basis level. This SAP HR structural profiles we support. Other modules might have additional permissions as well that we do not support. In this case we will have to review the specifics of the module and can comment about support or not supported. Normally any ABAP based module that is relying on the underlying SAP kernel or basis information or basis support will be supported by the One Identity Manager SAP Connector. While managing our three environments or S4 environments at customer sites, we encounter different kinds of setups. Um, On-premise implementations of SAP uh, can be accessed uh, through the application server by our uh, Identity Manager job server to talk to these systems directly. Another architectural setup we encounter on customers uh, is the uh, load balancing solution where the architecture is hidden behind a, a message server which is used to load balance um, the environment, which is very customary in uh, big customer um, implementations for SAP solutions. Another implementation uh, that we encounter is when the SAP environment is not run by the customer itself, but is hosted by some service provider. In that case, the communication is being routed through an SAP router and the One Identity Manager uh, is able to support all these implementations because we are relying on the SAP native NCO libraries that are using SAP native means to communicate with that environment. Uh, more information about our SAP connector can be found on this SAP certification website where you can see that our SAP connector is not only certified for NetWeaver but also for S4HANA. Further information about our support for SAP environments and SAP solutions can be found on our website. Oneidentity.com slash solutions slash SAP will contain information about 
SAP integration and SAP support in our One Identity Manager. These resources contain white papers which describe integration of SAP into One Identity Manager as well as GRC and access rights and permissions support in One Identity Manager and what the differences are between the native solutions and One Identity Manager.